Good evening once again. If you are just joining us tonight, I'm live here outside Smith & Wesson along Roosevelt Ave here in Springfield. Today, the company announcing that they're moving their headquarters to Tennessee. Now, 22 News anchor Rich Tedemer takes a look back at the history of Smith & Wesson that began in Springfield nearly 170 years ago. Smith & Wesson was founded by Springfield native Horace Smith and Daniel B. Wesson as the Smith & Wesson Revolver Company back in 1856. Smith & Wesson originally started a partnership in 1852 in Norwich, Connecticut to develop the Volcanic Rifle. But they branched out to revolvers in Springfield. And Smith & Wesson's revolvers came into popular demand with the outbreak of the Civil War. Soldiers from ranks on both sides of the conflict made private purchases of the revolvers for self-defense. Demand for revolvers declined after the war, so Smith & Wesson focused on the development of arms suitable for use on the American frontier. In 1870, the company switched focus from pocket-sized revolvers to a bigger revolver and heavier calibers. In 1899, Smith & Wesson introduced its most widely used revolver, that's the 38 caliber for military and police. With over 6 million produced, it became the standard sidearm for American police officers for much of the 20th century. In pop culture, you might remember the Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum that Clint Eastwood used in his Dirty Harry movies back in the 1970s and 80s. But Smith & Wesson's market share began to decline right around then. As the war on drugs intensified in the United States, police departments all across the country replaced their Smith & Wesson revolvers with European semi-automatics like Glock and Beretta. From 1982 to 1986, profits at the company declined by 41%. Recently, the company has come under increased scrutiny due to the use of its firearms in mass shootings, such as the 2018 Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Florida, where the gunman used a Smith & Wesson AR-15 style rifle. That same weapon was used in the 2015 San Bernardino attack and the 2012 Aurora, Colorado shooting. And now there's today's announcement. Smith & Wesson moving its headquarters and a significant portion of its operations due to the changing business climate for firearms manufacturing in Massachusetts. I'm Rich Tedemer, 22 News.